guys, it's Heidi from Naming today. So the other day I was out poking around the grocery store and I happened to find a Star Wars Jello Jigglers and I was noticing all these other yummy Star Wars treats. So I called on my brother because my brothers and I are like huge fans of Star Wars. You know, we were the first in line whenever they came out with a Star Wars movie growing up. So he said, Heidi, did you know in the upcoming 2016 Star Wars movie that Mads Mikkelsen, the famous days actor who was in Casino Royale, the James Bond movie, he was in the TV show Hannibal, well, he is going to be in the Star Wars movie in 2016, and part of it's going to be filmed in Iceland. And then I was looking back at the history of Star Wars, and I noticed that Empire Strikes Back was partially filmed in Norway. So I'm like, you know what? I gotta do some Star Wars treats and celebration. So let's go inside and get started and make some Star Wars Jello Jigglers. All right, so here is our Star Wars Jello Jiggler mold kit. It's a nice size large and kit. And on the front, it's featuring Darth Vader. And you know, it's as if he has a stamp approval right on the front of the packaging, because you know he just wouldn't approve just anything. Now, we see R2-D2 again, C-3PO. R2-D2 is peeping out of the hole right here. And then down at the bottom, you see Darth Vader again. He's peeping out of the hole as well. So let's open it up and see what we have inside. First, what I see here are two molds that we have. And the caricatures are Yoda, Chewbacca, R2-D2, C-3PO, Stormtrooper, and Darth Vader. As well, we get two berry blue jellos and two more strawberry jellos. All right, so I'm ready to make our Star Wars characters. I mean, these characters are just begging to be made into jello. So first spray with a nonstick cooking spray. You also wanna wipe up any excess of the nonstick cooking spray. Now I'm going to make the berry blue jello. Okay, so now I'm pouring in my one cup of boiling hot water. Now I'm mixing up our jello mixture with the hot water. We want to get the jello completely dissolved. Okay, so I've been mixing our jello mixture for about two minutes and now we're ready to pour in one cup of cold water into the warm hot mixture. And then we're going to mix this some more. Now I'm pouring the jello mixture in the Star Wars jello mold cavities. Let's take our jello mold into the refrigerator for about four hours and then short we'll be able to enjoy our Star Wars jello jigglers. Okay so while I have the Star Wars mold with the berry blue jello in the refrigerator for the next four hours I'm gonna get started working on the strawberry jello and at the very end of the video we'll be able to see how our Star Wars character turn out with the strawberry jello. Okay, so our Star Wars Jello molds are in the refrigerator in about four hours away to enjoy these. Now on the back of our Jello mold kit, I'm going to check out the Star Wars memory game, which is on the back of the Jello mold kit here. Now it says to mix up the cards, lay them in a row face down. Turn over any two cards. If they match, keep them. If they don't match, turn them back over and repeat. The game is over when all of the cards have been mashed up. The player with the most matches wins. Okay, so I just took our mold out of the refrigerator and this is the blue jello and you can see it's nice and firm now. So now we just take a knife, carefully just slide it along the 
the side of the each of the mold cavities to loosen up the jello. Okay, so let's try to see if we can flip these over and if they'll come out or not. So only one came out, so, which means we're gonna have to try to nudge the other ones out of the mold. Now to loosen it up, you might wanna just put your finger in there gently and just slide it around so you can release the jello from the mold. All right, so now I'm gonna try using a little spatula here to see if we can kind of nudge it out as well and see how that turns out. That one turned out perfect. Let's see what happens. Yep, that might turn, seem to be the best solution is to first take the knife and kind of move it around and then afterwards nudge it a little bit, kind of loosen them up and then flip it over. Okay, so for fun, I thought you might guys want to see the individual Star Wars characters here. And you know, some of these came out really well and other ones was a little bit hard to remove from the mole cavity. So I think these turned out great and I'm go ready to go outside and enjoy one of these. Okay guys, so I'm outside and I'm ready to enjoy my Star Wars Jello Jigglers. And I'm gonna have R2-D2 because I kind of messed him up when I pulled him out of the mold. So might as well try him. So let's get started. And I can't wait, I love Jello. Mmm, R2-T2 tastes really yummy. So, I hope you guys enjoyed our video today. These are absolutely fun treats to serve at your next Star Wars, you know, party or in celebration of the movies coming out. I definitely enjoyed making these and I was really surprised how well that you could see each character as well. So, let us know if you have any requests with any upcoming Star Wars treats and I'll be happy to do them. And make sure you check out my mother's recipes, her traditional Scandinavian recipes and Manga Talk for Alt, and which means many thanks. See you later, guys. Bye. Please make sure you subscribe. Bye, guys.